tab. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. All right, we're keeping an eye on tomorrow evening when a cold front will come through the valley, ushering in a huge change of air mass, bringing temperatures from near 90 today to 63 on Friday. And this is a 40% chance of showers in the morning on Friday for the uh, Boise area and the Treasure Valley. There will be rain in the Central Mountains Friday morning with some slow drying later on. The weekend is looking pretty good. Well, we go from these warm temperatures to some really comfortable weather on Saturday and Sunday. So pleasant because of a nice cool Cool morning and a warm, sunny, light wind kind of afternoon before we get all the way up to 91 next Wednesday. Huge, that's a 30 degree uh, temperature swing back up. But it's this day right here, tomorrow, tomorrow evening that we have to keep a close eye on with severe weather potentially developing. So here's what we have. We've got some hot air around. Dry air is pushed into Idaho, but down to the south, we've got a strong jet stream. And right over Jackpot right now, there's a series of storms that is just developing and moving over that area. Here's a supercell thunderstorm that's tracking to the, in, through northern Nevada. And that energy will come to the north and kind of hook up with energy coming in from the west and some moisture coming in from the Pacific. And southern and central Idaho, and especially the eastern Idaho will be under the gun for severe weather. There will be large hail and very strong wind in parts of southern Idaho. The question is always where will that develop? So here's our cold front right here. This is what's going to signal the change. It's a little bit ahead of this, but there's rain breaking out ahead of it. Hot and dry conditions. There's some moisture down to the south. This moisture will evict or come in from the south ahead of this front. And as it joins just in front of the front and the heating of the day tomorrow, that will cause thunderstorms to form in south central Idaho. Behind that, we'll get breezy and cooler conditions. We'll have a lot of wind tomorrow night, even after that one to one and a half hour threat for severe weather goes on through, maybe two hours in eastern Idaho. We'll still have wind after that. It just won't be to severe levels in the places that do get those severe storms, but we'll have a big change in air mass with this cold air just dropping right on in and sticking around for the weekend, keeping it cool and wet in the mountains to the north. This is what the Storm Prediction Center has in the forecast for this severe weather risk as they assess the entire United States. States, that marginal risk for severe storms again from Boise Mountain home, southwest Idaho to southern Long Valley, upwards to Missoula and to the Magic Valley, a higher risk in this yellow region, which is called the slight risk region. So eastern Idaho, and I'm really seeing a lot of energy around the Sun Valley area tomorrow afternoon. So these locations could really get hit hard with some strong, powerful thunderstorms and some very large hail coming through. That's something I'm going to keep an eye on. The severe the uh, storm prediction center keeps it's keeping an eye on the entire nation. The only other place they're watching is in Houston. It's a pretty big threat for tomorrow, but that's typical. It is not as typical for us here in the Northwest, and we still have that threat for the day tomorrow. Now we look at this future cast here, and there's not much that's going to be going on as we go into the day tomorrow morning. It'll be a beautiful start to the day, but watch what happens in the afternoon. That little line running up right there. That's 540 now showing Canyon County, the Nampa area. So maybe six o'clock for Boise. So between four, say 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. through the Treasure Valley, that's our time. And as the early evening goes on, storms, big storms could roar through central Idaho as this moves on through. So good time to download your Storm Shield app, even though the Boise Doppler radar is down. The National Weather Service will be putting out severe thunderstorm warnings if needed. And if so, you'll get severe weather alerts for your exact location down to your neighborhood because of the way the app is set up. If there's no severe thunderstorm warning over you, you won't get the alert. But if, if you get the alert, it will show what you have. 75 beautiful in McCall today, right? Look at the change here for Friday. 75 today, 50 on Friday. Thunderstorms and big ones possible tomorrow evening. Much cooler weather over the weekend. And I've got to show you this, folks. This is the future snow graphic on Friday. An inch of snow in Stanley, maybe not an inch in Stanley, but in the mountains around, if you're hiking, it's a huge change coming in Friday night. It's going to be snowing in those higher elevations. My exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. We still get into the 70s. It'll be calm and pleasant in the morning. 30 mile an hour winds are likely in the afternoon with gusts of 50 possible as the cold front comes through. Any severe weather that pops up could give us even stronger storms. We'll see storms in the West Central Mountains tomorrow. And I want to make a special mention to the Sun Valley area and the Cameras Prairie. There could be some powerful thunderstorms moving there tomorrow evening, say seven or eight o'clock in the evening as that front roars through. We'll end up with a really nice weekend in the Treasure Valley beyond comfortable weather, but I'll be keeping an eye online on Facebook tonight and okay. tomorrow all day as we watch this front come in and some snow and some snow just add it in. There. Just add it. In. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Scott.